So today I'm going to be answering Christian Burkhalter. He's a three-star UCLA commit and he played for Spanish Fort High School and is from Alabama. Hey Jesse, how you doing? Hey Christian, how you doing? What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing good, dude. Doing good. Nice hat. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> so you committed? You committed to UCLA in December, right? Yeah, man, I committed in December, but uh, I just signed my NLI. What's up? I just signed my uh, my NLI this uh, this past, you know, the 16th. So. That's right, cool. On the national signing day. Yeah, bro. Yep. That's right, cool. All right, I'll start with my first question. How old were you when you started playing football? How old was I? I played like, uh, like. You know, the YMCA football when I was, like, five or six. And then I started playing tackle when I was, like, seven. So, so you yeah, started bro. young? Yeah, bro. I started young, bro. That's what my dad got me doing, you know. So You went into tackle when you were seven? Yeah, bro. That's kind of how they do it down here. You know, they have, like, tiny mite football. Mm -hmm. So, I did that. I did that whenever that started, you know. So, yeah. So, you did that as soon as you were able to do it? Yeah, bro. As soon as I was able to do it. Did my dad play? was making me beg for him. What's up? Sorry, what did you say? No, I was just saying my dad made me beg him to do it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Did you play any other sports? Yeah, bro, I played basketball. Um, I ran track and stuff. You know, I really wasn't too good at basketball and nothing like that. So, you know, I just started football, bro. You know what I'm saying? So basketball the wasn't the sport for you? I mean, I liked it, man. I can I can do I can dunk and stuff, but other than that, like, you know, yeah, I'm pretty limited. Yep. What was it like playing for the Spanish Fort High School football program? For the Spanish Fort High School pro football program, it was good, bro. We uh we didn't really finish the way you know we wanted, but it was you know it was fun. Like you know all my dogs and stuff. You know it was a great, great three years. Yeah. So it was fun getting to play with all your guys. Yeah, bro. You know I played with my brother my junior year, and then you know just like my senior year, just like all the seniors I played with. You know like we were really close and like. You know, we went to state, lost again, twice in a row. So, uh, yeah, bro, but no, nah, it was good. So you went to state? Yep, went to state. I know this past season you went 12-4, and four, ended on that tough loss in the championship. Yep. What was your biggest learning experience from this past season? A learning experience? Oh, man, uh, just anything could happen, really, you know. People would say, like, we were going to suck, suck, and, like, you know, we weren't going to make it that far, but, you know, we did. We didn't get a ring, bro, but we made it, so. Too bad you didn't yeah. get a ring. Yeah, bro, no rings. No rings right here. What do you feel your biggest strengths on the field are? My biggest strengths on the field? Man, I don't know. I, just, I feel like I play with a lot of energy, you know, I play physical football like we do in the South. Uh... You know, man, just have fun with it, really. She plays with a lot of energy on the field. Yeah, bro, no doubt. Like to get the defense hyped and everything. Yeah, bro, <laughs> got to. For you, what were the high school playoffs like? The high school playoffs? Mm -hmm. Well, but we got to play four home games. So, like, you know, we were kind of got lucky in the fact of just kind of how the uh, how the bracketing worked. You know, so, like, we got to play a lot of good teams, bro, that came to the, uh, the hill to play. And, uh, you know, so we went forward. We went for all four of those, of course, you know, and uh, we went up to Brian Denny for state. But, yeah, bro, fun. So Playoffs you, down here are fun. What's so you up? got to play at home for four of them? Yeah, bro, we got all four. That's cool. Yeah, all four of our playoff games just happened to be, you know, at our home stadium. So, Was the so. championship at Alabama, you said? Yeah, bro, it was up in Tuscaloosa. Oh, that's cool. What was it like playing that stadium? Man, it's a big old stadium, bro. It fits like 110. So, like, you know, a lot of great players played there before. That's crazy. Yep. How would you say the recruiting process was for you overall? 
How was how was it for me? I don't know, bro. This is long, really. And it, uh, with with how it just kind of corona and all that stuff, it kind of got weird at the end. You know, I I I feel like you know everybody in in twenty twenty one got screwed totally. You know, because we didn't take get to take our official visits. You know, we didn't get to do all that fun stuff. You know, so man, you know, but it was it was a good. You know, I'm grateful for it, bro. I feel blessed. So it was kind it's of over. weird at the end yeah. of COVID. Yeah, bro. You know, like they uh they had to shut everything down. Mm-hmm. You know, put a dead period on where you can't go visit places. You know, luckily I've been out to LA a couple times. You know, I've I've already set foot on all that, so you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I asked you if you've been out to UCLA a few times. Yeah, bro. I've been out there. That's good. That did you get to see Westwood in the campus? Yeah, bro. I went all all through Westwood. We opened. We spent like a week up in Beverly Hills. And, uh, you know, so we were right next to Westwood and um, <clears throat> all that stuff. But, yeah, it's, it's a great place out there. I love it. Mm-hmm. It is. It's nice in Westwood. Yeah, no doubt, bro. It's really good. It's really nice. What made you decide to decommit from Oregon and commit to UCLA? Well, bro, when I committed to Oregon, I uh, I really wasn't, like, you know, I was committed, but I was really just trying to hold a spot because, uh, you know, I, I, I've never been out to Eugene. I've never been to Oregon before. You know, I've never got to meet. You know, none of those guys, you know, and we were planning on being able to, but just kind of because of COVID. And, uh, but uh, no, nah, bro, UCLA is kind of where I'm from. I wanted to go. And uh, they've been on me since I've been, you know, like my sophomore year. You know, I've been talking to them. So, you know, I like those guys up there. You know, I'm excited to get to work. So, first at Oregon, you're just kind of like making sure you had a spot. Uh, I mean, not, not like that, bro. I just, I was leaning towards Oregon at the time, you know, but it wouldn't. Until signing day, bro, nothing was set in stone. So, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I made the switch, bro. I'm glad, too, that you made yeah, the switch bro, to play sure. for UCLA. Yeah, no doubt. How do you feel your play style fits in at UCLA? Bro, I can't wait, bro. They run a 3-4, you know, and they're outside back. I mean, I'll be, you know, guarding the slot and, uh, you know, it's coming off the edge on my third downs and stuff. So, like, you know, I think – you know, Coach Kafusi, you know, Coach Azanero, all of them. You know, we're going to be set next year. You know, didn't really finish, we didn't really finish out the year how we wanted this, you know, this year. And, you know, but we had a lot of, like, close games, you know, that, you know, the Burners should have won. But it's good, bro. We're going to be coming back next year. We'll be all right. Definitely heading in the right direction. Yeah, no doubt, bro, no doubt. Hopefully going, like, New Year's Six pretty soon. Yeah. Throughout the recruiting process, what did you like most about UCLA? Um, you know, just kind of like the, you know, the culture that the school has, you know, it's the number one public university in the nation. You know, I really just kind of felt really uh, necessarily kind of close, you know, the coaches. And, uh, you know, I trust them. And Coach Kelly, you know, I think he, uh, you know, you know, incredible coaching background and all that, you know, man. So, yeah, bro, I'm just excited, bro. I'm excited you got there. So, like, the football and they're already yeah, bro. academics no doubt. there. Yeah, no doubt. Then you built a good relationship with the coaching staff. Yeah, bro. They're cool people. What's it feel like knowing you signed your national letter of intent to UCLA and finished your senior season of high school football? What it feel like? It felt mm-hmm. great, bro. It felt, uh, you know, you know, it was a dream growing up as a kid, go play college ball. You know, so just kind of been preparing for it these last couple of years. So, you know, for it to kind of be right up here on this, you know, bro, I'm I'm pumped up. You know what I mean? So, you know. So you're pumped ready up. Ready to get to work. Yeah, bro, ready to get to work. To no get doubt. out to Westwood and, like, yep. your dream, the next step of your career. For sure, bro. Yes. How do you think the coaching staff at UCLA can help you develop as a player? How do you think they can help me develop? Bro, they got uh, you know, they got some great coaches out there, bro, and uh, you know, just the players you play around too, like Coach Kafusi, you know, the linebacker coach. It's my dog. He's actually on the live right now. Uh, but uh, you know, just uh, just learning, right? You know, just just being coachable and learning. You know, I'm, I've only been playing defense for a couple of years, like two years. You know, I'm, I switched over. You know, and I love it. You know, it's kind of what I'm, I'm meant to play. But you know, bro, just taking everything I, I can, just taking it in. You know, <clears throat> adding it to my bag. Do you build a great relationship with him? You say he's in the live right now? Yeah, coach is in the live. When are you getting to UCLA? 
Um, bro, I can't even answer that right now. You know, it uh, it depends on what some stuff's going to happen up here in the next like month or two. But uh, you know, it, it could be you know it could be here in the next month or it could be in like June, bro, when everybody else enrolls. But uh, yeah, there's some stuff playing on. You know, if I get if I get to do virtual school this second semester or not. But uh, yeah. So it just depends on everything. Yeah, bro. There's some stuff. Yeah, it depends, bro. Hopefully, I'm trying to get there as early as I can. Like graduate early. Yeah, my school. Uh, my school is not letting us graduate early, but um, you know, there's there might be some ways we could work around it. You know, find some stuff to do. So, but uh, yeah. Also, oh, right now they're not letting you graduate early. Bro, they don't. They don't let. They don't let anybody graduate early. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, yeah bro. What's the best game you've had in your high school football career? My best game. Dang. I don't know, but I think uh, you know, playing Sarah Land, you know, playing uh you know, even playing Pinson, you know, even we didn't we didn't get the dub, you know. Just a great atmosphere out there, bro. It's it's, it's fun. It's fun. That against Pinson? Yeah, Pinson Valley, yeah. They're a good squad. What's the biggest game you've ever played in? Biggest game? Uh, I mean, I've played in two state championships. We uh, lost to Oxford last year, and we lost to Pinson this year. You know, so, I mean, I guess either one of those, bro. So, the state championship games? Yep. Yep, yep. Is there any certain high school you always like playing against the most? I always like playing against the most? Um, Probably Sarah Land, bro, just because, like, fans go crazy and stuff. I mean, it's the same for me, bro, every game. You know what I'm saying? I come in with the same mindset, but, like, you know, they are, Sarah Land always has a good team, and, like, you know, we always, uh, I ain't gonna say we always, but, uh, you know, we kind of, we got them both times this year. You know, it's fun playing them. So, yeah. So, it's one of those games where, like, the fans are always yeah. going crazy and, like, packed. Yeah. Yeah, the fans hate each other, all that stuff. <laughs> so, but, you know, it's always fun, but I love it. But you got, like, the same mentality, mentality yeah, for every game? No doubt. I, uh, I mean, it's no matter who we're playing, you know. What number do you plan on wearing at UCLA? Bro, uh, that is it's, – uh, it's either going to be – we'll go ahead and put y'all in there. It's either going to be 14 or uh, we're working it out. Uh, my boy Damien Sellers wears zero. I was trying to get zero, but I don't know, bro. We're going to wear something. It doesn't really matter, bro. Whatever – to be honest, whatever they put me in. But, uh, no, they, they sent me a few numbers, but we'll see. So you'll, you'll wear anything? Uh, I don't know about anything, but I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, but you know, the number that make you, bro, you, you make the number. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you sure, wore you four this last season, right? Yeah, bro, wore four. Who is your favorite football player as a kid? Who's my favorite football player as a kid? Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence, Lawrence Taylor, Taylor, he was good. Yeah. yeah, he played before my time, but like, you know, Talking about like you know growing up watching highlights and stuff, yeah, definitely Lawrence Taylor. If you gonna say now, definitely be like Darius Leonard. I mean, like Von Miller, you know. All those like good linebackers. Yeah, bro. Do you try to model your game after anyone? Uh, no, I'm not saying the model it. You know, I don't like model that anybody. I uh, there's you know definitely some dudes who you know gone before you and done it. So like you. You know, you definitely watch their game and, you know, try to ask stuff to, you know, whatever you're doing, you know, kind of grow off them. But, no, nah, but, you know, you got to be yourself, you know, make your own game. That's kind of what I've been trying to do. So, so you kind of, like, you watch other guys, but you make your own game? Yeah, bro. Like, you know, if you're always around other good players, like, you'll you'll see stuff. You know, you'll see a dude hit a move and be like, oh, bro, I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll start doing it, you know. And uh, sometimes you can even do it better than he did it. Or, you know, the same thing, like, Trading off, you know, you know, vice versa. So yeah, like implement certain stuff and like do it. Right. Better. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. How would you describe yourself off the field? My, myself off the field, bro. You know, I'm just a normal, normal kid. You know, bro, I do the same. You know, stuff everybody else does. You know, living there in the south, I like to hunt. You know, do all all sort of stuff, bro. Play the game. You know. Whatever, you know, hang out with my brothers and my sister, you know, so. Yeah, so you bro, like to hunt? Home. Yeah, bro, we we hunt down here. That's cool. Hell yeah, boy, out in Alabama. What uh, stuff do you hunt? Shit, deer, shit, anything that's that's moving, bro, you know, 
just we hunt ducks or anything, bro. Really down here is just mainly deer hunt, duck hunt. Do you hunt anything pretty much? Yeah, bro, anything that's in the season. What are three things you like to do besides football? Three things I like to do besides football? Take my dog on a walk. I mean, I don't even know, bro. Like, just hang out, chill with my buddies. See, see you know? you like to just, like, hang out and take your dog on a walk? Yeah, man, <laughs> take my dog on a walk. My dog is saying, I don't know, he's somewhere in there somewhere. But, uh, yeah, bro. Then the last question I have is for fun. You get right. to take any three NFL players to dinner. They can be past or present. Who are you taking? Taking them to dinner? Mm-hmm. I don't know, bro. I'll probably take probably take Dion. Probably take probably take Lawrence Taylor. Yeah. Dang, Sean Taylor's dead, but I'd take Sean Taylor too, bro. R.P. Sean. So all past players? Yeah, bro. I mean, I, I don't really know. That's that's a cool question, though. Who would you take? I would take Josh Allen because he's Allen? actually – he's from an area that's near me. And, I right. my school would play hit the one that he went to. Okay. So, George Kittle. George Kittle, yeah, he's a dog. And Joshua Kelly. Ah, uh, Kelly. All right. That's, that's what's up, bro. All right, thanks for doing the interview with me today. Hey, bro, no problem, bro. Go nice. Bruins, bro. Yes, sir, go Bruins. Nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you too, though. Hey, take care. Thank you, you too.